Okay, um, real quick, I do want to show you guys how to enter in a list like we were, we were doing in class, converting our table from our paper to a list on the calculator and then finding the slope of the line um, represented by that table. But I want to show you using the app Calc84, C-A-L-C-84, because I know a lot of you are using that at home. So um, if I, let's look at the homework real quick. So we're on Schoology, and I want to show you guys how to do that. So if you're on Schoology, there are no posts because I'm not on courses. If you're on Schoology, click on your math class. Remember, we're always currently in the black folder. And then um, you can turn in your assignments to the yellow folder. The pink one is where you can find the PDF of the assignments and the notes. N for notes, A for assignment. So we're writing A, slope from tables, because that's where we want to look at our homework problems. Okay, so um, I'm going to zoom in on number one, and let's get number one done together using the app Calc84. Okay, so um, our, it looks like our X values here are negative 3, 1, 3, and 5. Remember, the X values go into L1, and the Y values go into L2. Um, oh, I can write on this. These will go into L1, and these will go into L2. Okay, um, so I'm going to go back over to my calculator now. I'm hitting stat, and I do hit edit. And there's some stuff in here, and normally in class we hit the up arrow, and then we hit clear, and then down. But that's not working. If you hit the up arrow, see how it says with the light bulb, press delete to clear list. If you do that in class, remember that ruins your calculator a little bit and you have to hit stat 5. Here, that's okay. Just hit delete and it deletes the whole list. Scroll up and hit delete. If you do that in class, you have to hit stat followed by 5. Okay, so remember L1. L1, we are typing in our X values. So our X values are negative 3, 1, 3, and 5. Negative 1. The S started with negative 3. Sorry, negative 3. Negative 3. 1, 3, and 5. Then I hit my arrow over to go to L2. And in L2, I want to type the Y values. Well, the Y values are negative 9, 3, 9, 15. Negative 9, 3, 9, 15. Now I've got all of that typed. Remember in class we hit the blue button second, followed by mode. And that brings us home, which is where we can type normal numbers in, right? Now we hit stat, scroll over to calc. In class we hit 4, because 4 says L-I-N-R-E-G and has an A-X plus B. You'll notice 4 on the Calc84 app says quad reg. That's not what we want. Hit lin reg. That's number 3 on the app. And then it brings up your A is 3 and B is 0. And we're not going to use the R values at all. We don't need those. So you want those values. Remember, slope is M, A, or K. So our slope here is this three. And that's all I wanted to show you guys. There are a few differences between Calc 84 and the TI 84 calculators that we're using in the classroom, but for the most part, they're the same. If you have questions, uh, please feel free to ask me in class. Send me a message on Schoology. Send me a message, an email. Um, get in contact with me and I can help you any way possible.